All right, today on Keep My Five Alive, I'm gonna do something I don't normally do, just because I have not seen any uh, reviews of this on YouTube or anywhere else. This is uh, this is the GS7 pump. This is made by Air Venturi, and uh, it is, uh, from what I can tell, a relatively new line they have. I've seen some people ask some questions about it, so I just wanted to go over it real quick. I also want to show you how quickly it can charge in my PCP air rifle, uh, because a lot of people talk about 150 or 200 pumps, and I didn't count it the other day. I've charged it up with it, but uh, I don't feel like it was that many, so we're going to do that. I'm, a, I'm not going to make you watch the whole thing. We'll fast forward or cut it out or shorten it up, whatever we got to do. But yeah, this is the GS7 hand pump for PCP air rifles. It's got folding foot pegs, foot pedals, whatever you want to call it. Uh, that's your relief valve. You got a pressure gauge, which is awesome because you can watch the pressure gauge while you're pumping and uh, it reads pressure in the tank and you don't have to worry about it. I think all of them have a pressure gauge. One of the big questions I've heard people ask about this is does it have a, uh, a, air, a moisture catch or however you want to say that, moisture filter, desiccant bag, whatever it might be. It does not. And I have contacted everybody I can contact, and they do not make one that works with this. They do have higher end pumps that are about a hundred more dollars than this, at about actually more than a hundred. At two hundred and fifty dollars, you get one that's got a um, uh, moisture catch, whatever you want to call it, on there. Um, yeah, this this velcro does not come on. It doesn't have any way to attach the hose to it. I put this velcro strap on there. Um, let's quickly show you what's in the uh, what comes with it. This is the this is a box for my scope. I keep everything for my individual rifles together, and this pump goes with this rifle, so I keep it in here. So we're going to go over what it comes with. All this stuff in here is not for the pump. Um, these are your two wrenches. This is they call a T wrench. This is your they call it a spanner wrench. Multi I call it a you know multi wrench, but it's like one of those old school bicycle wrenches. But uh, this is specifically for the pump, of course. And then you have uh, two rebuild kits, so you can rebuild it twice with the stuff that comes with it. There's a bunch of O-rings and seals and stuff in there. Uh, an Allen key uh, for attaching the handles and maybe some other stuff. I'm not sure exactly what. And it did come with a little bottle of oil, which right now I have the cap for drying because when I open the box, I find this little red pointed thing, or I'm sorry, yellow pointed thing, and I'm like, what is that for? So I put it to the side. Then I find the box of oil, or the bottle of oil. Wow, I can't talk. A few minutes later and realized the bottom of the top is on it but the top piece of the top is not and that's what that was it's like when they screwed it on it popped the top off of it so I had to glue that back together we don't want dirt and stuff getting in the oil bottle which is actually over here there you go there's the little bottle of oil it comes with um, and you can see the top's not on there because I'm gluing it together but uh, you don't need that very often you need to oil the pump uh, every so often but the gun doesn't these PCP rifles don't require much lubrication um, so yeah, I'm gonna jump into charging my rifle and uh, let's get it out and show you how this goes. Ta da! There it is. All right, so just like any PCP rifle, got a pressure gauge on it. It is down to, I don't know how well you can see that, but it's down to about 1150, which is, I don't wanna, I don't wanna discharge it any more than that. That's about 65 shots out of this from full charge to there is about 65 shots or so. Um, so I'm pretty good with that. Don't want to run it down anymore because you want to keep at least as much pressure as the minimum regulator pressure is in the tank, if not a little more, to keep that seal closed, keep dust and stuff out of it. I also, and this is not a PCP rifle video by any means. This is actually about this pump. But uh, just a you know thought of mine, I always charge mine inside because inside the house, because the air inside an air-conditioned house is dehumidified for the most part. And you don't get as much moisture in your gun. If I was outside in the summertime and it was 75% humidity, I might as well just be pouring water into that tank. So we don't want to do that. All right, so anyway, this is uh, what they call a foster fitting. Pretty sure that's what it's called. This, uh, it comes with this check plug. You check it, uh, I think it's, put it in there, I think pump it up to 1500 pounds, I think that's what it is, and just make sure it doesn't leak, and that just seals it tight. It's just a replacement plug. What I do is take my dust cap from my rifle, and I take my check plug, and I put them together while I'm pumping, and that way I know where they both are. They're together. All right, so take this, like I said, I believe it's called a foster fitting. Put it on the rifle. Make sure it's on there good and tight. Make sure the release valve is closed. And the first few pumps, 
don't really put any air in the rifle. They just charge that hose up because it has to get to the pressure inside the rifle before it will put any air in there. And you can tell when it opens because I just felt it. It just suddenly kind of pops. All right, so I'm pumped this. Um, well, that was two after it popped. So we're going to start at two. We're going to say two. And here we go. So there we are, 50 pumps, and I right just under 2,000. So it might take 100 pumps. All right, I'm at 120, we're almost there. A little bit of a workout, not gonna lie. That's 128. And yeah, we're right at 3,000. So it did take 128. It took 128 pumps to fill it up from 1150, which is the minimum that I would empty it to. So there you have it. Very decent pump, a little bit of workout. Good for you all in all, but it definitely works very well. I like it. I'm impressed with it. It does what I need it to do. It's better than a $600 mini air compressor. So, it still takes, oh, what did I read about that? I wish I had looked that up, but I think it still takes like 20 minutes or something to fill it up with the little air compressors that are 600 bucks. So, yeah, way cheaper option, not too bad. A little bit of a workout, which is good for you. Hope you like it. Keep in mind that is the GS7 pump by Air Venturi. Uh, inexpensive entry level pump for PCP air rifles. Hope you enjoyed.